Good morning tubers. BTHV1 here, Bruce Pender. I've changed the name of my channel to Bruce Pender from BTHV1 because BTHV1 is a little bit nondescript. I'm trying to get a few more hits on my site and a few more subscribers. So anyway, back to the fun. Here we've got a 42 inch John Deere blade slash plow. I've got one or one and a half coats of very sloppy yellow on here but I've got the uh, the decals masked off here and here missed a little bit that doesn't matter we're gonna put another coat of paint on it but you know what we all have to have a little bit of fun so I'm gonna take this piece down here car coming I'm gonna take this piece down here and I'm gonna paint it John Deere green just for fun, even though the rocks and the snow and the stuff are going to come up through here. Uh, I'm not worried about that. I just, you know, you got to have a little bit of fun. So I think a John Deere green stripe would be good on this. Yeah, so let's see how she looks when I'm all done. John Deere green stripe on the bottom of the plow. BTHV1 here. Well, I talked about the project that never ends. These pieces, uh, this goes into here like that, and it was black. And I thought, and my friend Larry thought, that it would look more like John Deere equipment, which it actually is. It's got a John Deere with a John Deere serial number. So this is now John Deere green with the feet, control bars. But I left the, uh, the lift bar. Whoops, pardon me. I left the lift bar nice and silvery <coughs> and I shined all the rust off of it and uh, it also has now a coat of wax. Everything's got a coat of wax on it. Of course, there's the uh, the famous John Deere stripe on the front of the on the front of the uh, blade and it's going to go right there once that comes off. Hi tubers. BTHV1 here. Well, today we are going to install the blade onto the John Deere 180 tractor with the, with the attachment pieces here. Okay, now I have set the front bracket onto the uh, front pin right here, this green pin. I've put the feet on. We might have to set the depth of that later. We'll see. Oops, sorry. Okay, tubers. When we attach the plow or blade to the front of the tractor, it's nice to use aligning pins like this so that you know where you're going. And I disconnected them from the back, and we're going to connect the front up first, and then connect the back up afterwards. So now we're going to connect the le the right aligning pin. I don't know if we can do this on holding everything together at the same time. So there we are there, and there we are there. Okay folks, we've got the right side connected with pins on front and back. I don't think we need this big washer. It's been four months since I uh, took this whole thing apart, so now we're going to change this pin out to the uh, shaft from the main uh, brace. I don't know if we can see that or not, but... There we go. That's music. Good. So I got that connected. <laughs> I got that connected right on the back there, just like the other one. And now we're going to connect the front with the pin. Whoops. We'll edit all these little problems out. We got to find one more cotter pin for that front piece. And 
there we go. So now we just have to do the control brace from there to there. Okay, so now we're connected there. We just need to find a cotter pin and a washer for there. So there folks, I think we got it. The blade is right against the ground, so I might lift it up a little bit. But there's some real cool parts about this. When we pull the arm back, and then we want to change the angle of the blade. I bought a different pin than what you see on most of them. This one just pulls out. You change the angle. Oops, you change the angle and push it back in again. So there's no uh, pins or clips or anything like that. And this has a little ball joint controller on it. So once again, we just line her up and put her in. So that's nice. So now I am going to just set the height of the blade and we should be done. It looks pretty nice. Comes pretty close to there though, doesn't it? So VTHV1 over and out. We're just going to adjust the height of the blade a little bit. Looks kind of cute with everything painted green. I wonder when I'll stop wiping the dust off the tractor. <laughs> 